So finally, kind of a travel video. Vacation, downtown Toronto. We are from Toronto, but we don't actually live in the city, so we decided to come for the night, stay at the Sheraton Centre Toronto for the night. We're gonna walk around the city, I'm gonna do a live stream later, and we're gonna get something to eat. Typical, typical Matthew video. You know, we gotta get some food. I got my mask on. Let's go check in, and let's go explore Toronto. So right now it's 1.45, usually check-ins at 3 o'clock, but I'm going to show you real quick. This is the unofficial room tour. Here's the bathroom. Not bad. Not bad at all, really. We got the king bed and we got a nice view of the Toronto City Hall. We got the Toronto sign over there. We'll get close and we'll get some better shots when we're on the ground. But yeah, this is the beautiful city of Toronto. That's old city hall and that is new city, hall. new city hall. This hotel location is amazing. It's like in the middle of everything. We got a really good deal on this. We got for like, what, $100? 100, with tax, it was like 104. Regular is like always over 200. Downtown can be very expensive if you stay, so keep an this eye out for some room. deals. Yeah, there's a, lot, there's a lot of nice hotels. This room is pretty basic, but for the location and the price, we couldn't say no. So let's go. I guess uh, get something to eat. Actually, first we gotta move our car because parking, their parking section is so small, but he said to stay cheaper, you just park in City Hall, which is in that underground parking tunnel right there. So we're gonna move it. I think he said it's $15 a night there, $33 here. So let's go move that. The Sheraton right there. In the winter time, they turn this into an ice skating rink. You can rent skates. Uh, there's supposed to be water here right now, but there's not. And that's the famous Toronto sign with some guy just yelling some stuff over there. But okay. They're feeding pigeons like in Home Alone. Just outside of City Hall, they have some food trucks over here and some of the best street meat. That's the hot dog stand. So let's find a good hot dog vendor. First things first, we gotta get something to eat. You know how these videos go by now. And then let's walk around because today's a beautiful day. So they got Randy's Roti hot dog special. All beef jumbo, $1.99. Let's get that maybe. What should we get? Which one? Serving Toronto for over 30 years. Hot dog. The supreme fries look so good. You want to get that? Kind of. Toronto supreme fries. Yeah. I've never had this here before. Toronto supreme fries. So we got a medium and uh, I got an all beef jumbo hot dog, $3. So life here in Toronto is somewhat getting back to normal. Most things are opened up. You just have to wear a mask inside. Outside, there's some people wearing it, some people are not. I'm just keeping my distance from everyone, being aware of that. Our numbers are going down, which is a good thing. We're, Ontario is under 100 each day right now, so we gotta keep that up, and everything will get back to normal. What's next? What are we doing next? More food. More food. <laughs> Normally, I would get the poutine, but we wanted to try this supreme fries. How is this so far? Really good. It's good? And I got my hot dog here with just ketchup. Let's see how it is. On this bench here, so we're just gonna sit here and eat jumbo hot dog. It looks pretty good. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. She makes good hot dogs there. Oh, look at the birdie. Birdie here. If I feed one, they all come, I think. <laughs> as long as those the pigeons don't come here. Big Daddy wants some. Ooh, the little guy sweeps in for the steal. Okay, here you go. Stop, they're all Okay, now they're coming. I'm stopping. I gotta finish this. Okay, let's see this fries. The meat's a little wet. I think I would stick to the poutine, though. These are good fries. You can tell they're very fresh. Fresh cut fries with the poutine. This would be amazing. Maybe I'll go back and get a poutine. 
So here is the Toronto Eaton Center. I think that's the biggest mall in Toronto, right? So this whole thing is the Eaton Center. Inside it's a really big mall. Right now we're heading towards uh, Dundas Square. I call it Times Square, the mini Times Square, but it's nothing like that. Hey guys, how are you today? today? Going in and out of these stores with the mask is <laughs> super annoying. When you wear it the glasses, it fogs up the glasses. What should we buy today at the Gucci store? So this here is Dundas Square. So it's Young and Dundas. And here's uh, the Eaton Center. Another entrance for the Eaton Center. When it is normal times, they usually have some events going on out here. But a very busy area as you can see. I don't think this is the safest thing to do in this intersection. I guess he's done his workout for the day. Now he decided to just go around in circles in the intersection. Holy. What does this thing say? Find me on Google. I can't see his name. All right, well, we move on. We're going to do a live stream, pretty much walking around what we just did to show you guys on the live stream. So don't miss my live streams. Hit that notification button so you know when I go live. And if you are new, hit that subscribe button too. And while you're doing that, you might as well like the video. There's a lot to do in Toronto, but if you're coming now, make sure you look at the hours and, and if it's open. And bring a mask. And you gotta wear a mask. Every, a mask is mandatory inside everywhere right now. The best way to get around is the bus, subway, or even walk. Driving can be difficult, just like any major city downtown. Finding parking, it's uh, not as easy. I definitely recommend if you've never been to Toronto to come check it out for a couple days. It's a beautiful place. And yes, it does get hot in the summertime. It's not always snowing here in Canada. You guys what know up, my everybody? cousin Andrew Bizanti. He lives downtown now and I totally yeah. forgot about that. It's so loud. This lady's yelling something over there. Jesus. Look, welcome to downtown, huh? Yeah. I saw him making Snapchats and videos. He's like, <laughs> Instagram. Oh, Instagram. He's like, oh, I'm downtown. I'm like, that's my backyard. I have to say hi. But he's actually filming a music video, so he's not going to join us. But next time, he'll join us. Yes, absolutely. Okay. There's a shot of the CN Tower right now. Say hi to everyone in the live stream. You guys will see this in the vlog later on. Right. There's a better shot of the CN Tower right over there. What is a vlog? without the shot of the CN Tower. Whenever you come downtown, you gotta take a picture of the CN Tower. Awesome. Food time, we're gonna try this place called Brands. I think I've had it before at the CNE, the Canadian National Exhibition. So we're just gonna get it to go and then go back to the hotel. We made it back to the hotel and they have this little seating area, nice little area. So we decided to pick up food. We went to Brands, but this box like melted on the way here. It's like falling apart and my sandwich is kind of destroyed. I got the Philly cheesesteak and sweet potato fries. These look like they could be cooked a little more. And Amanda got the orange chicken. Orange chicken. Sweet potato fries with whatever dip this is, it's pretty good. There's a piece of the steak, not in the sandwich. It's pretty good, but this is the kind of thing you gotta eat at the restaurant I think, not walk. 13 minutes. 13 minutes for. <laughs> Everything is just falling apart. It's not even a sandwich anymore. It's dog major. So the total came to 38.39. One Philly beef sandwich, sweet potato fries, and orange chicken. The pool all to ourselves. There's, uh, the lights are starting to come on the building. There you go. This is the pool. This is the shallow end here. So it's half inside, as you can see, and it goes right to outside. You got a beautiful view of the city over here. Oh, there's a heart on the room there, on the Hilton. This is the city view at nighttime. And you can see the Toronto sign is lit up now. It changes color sometimes. Perfect timing for the swim. No one was at the pool. We had a good time. We swam for about half an hour, 45 minutes. And this is the view here downtown of the city. I definitely recommend this hotel. It's been awesome. A great pool. I want to come back when things are normal and check out their steakhouse and a couple of the other restaurants. I will be back at this place. The location is great. You're like a 20 minute walk from pretty much all the attractions you would want in Toronto. There's so much you can do. You can go to the CN Tower, Harbor Front. 
uh, City Hall, you can check out Dundas Square, shopping, there's so much you can do, a lot of places to eat when things are normal. But for now, we're gonna end this video here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. So I got a Gucci tie for the wedding. It's pretty nice. That's what it looks like.